Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to be talking about LEDs. So I have uh, 37 recessed lights in my house, and the lights uh, in the ceiling are great, but uh, if you leave the lights on, you're going to get a crazy PG&E or electricity bill. So when I first moved in here, I got the $500 electricity bill, and I couldn't take it uh, too much longer, so I went through and changed out all the light bulbs from the CFLs or the old incandescent uh, light bulbs to these LEDs and I tried different companies I tried a, a, a white light or that blue light and now I really enjoy these warm light LEDs uh, that I have throughout the rest of the house and uh, it lowered my electricity bill immediately um, with the 37 light bulbs, sometimes they're all on. There's people upstairs and downstairs. And I did a couple of other things, which is get rid of some uh, bad appliances, got rid of my smart meter, put a water heater uh, cover or blanket on uh, on uh, my water heater because since it's uh, powered just by electricity, uh, that made it a huge difference. So I'll have those videos at the end about the water heater in the PG&E and how to go about doing that at the end but if you've been considering uh, getting LED light bulbs I definitely uh, give it a thumbs up uh, I'll have a link to the light bulbs that I use in the description below and I've tested them and, and they use only the power that they're rated at which is great and thanks for watching and hit the subscribe button if you like the video give the video a thumbs up and leave your comments and your questions below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about some of these LED bulbs. And uh, by the way, I have not had one that I've had to replace yet, which is great since I don't want to go around changing 37 light bulbs just in the ceiling. Thanks, guys.